welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here bringing you another video today from a uh, fantastic boutique winery in Israel. Hard to believe that only a few dec decades ago Israeli wine was not a major force in the wine drinking world, now very firmly established as a new-ish terroir. Where we are today is the Nana Winery, maybe uh, hard to tell from the scenery just behind me here, but I'm actually located in the heart of the Negev Desert which dominates the south of Israel and this winery is located just outside of Mitzpe Ramon uh, which is one of the southern towns in Israel. The southernmost southernmost town in Israel is the city of Eilat uh, but there is another uh, town called Mitzpe Ramon. A town of only a few thousand people actually started out as a, a camp for people building road workers constructing the road leading to southern Israel and today uh, Mitzpe Ramon is best known for the Machte Ramon, the, uh, crater, the, the crater formed by a glacier movement that's in the area. But this particular winery, the Nana Winery, is located just off road 171. For those who've been really paying attention to what I've been uploading on this YouTube channel, uh, in the summer of last year I visited Kvish Eser Road 10, which is the Israel-Egypt border road, and the road leading down to that from Itzpe Ramon, which is called, which is road 171, is probably in all my expeditions in Israel, the far reaches of the north of the country, the south, probably the most remote landscape I've seen. You don't see power plants, you don't see people. There are stretches of kilometers where you don't see not, you don't see anything, leading all the way down to uh, the intersection with Kvis Eser, which is the Israel-Egypt border road. Uh, now, this uh, this uh, huge landscape here for producing wine is a lot more expansive than, uh, than, I mean, it literally stretches for kilometers that way. The people working on the wines are getting around in these kind of uh, mopeds, but they uh, actually grow all the wine they produce here for their mixture of red wines, white wines, and rosé. They don't use artificial yeast. All the yeast uh, that is, of course, an integral part of the winemaking process is what's uh, just literally coming on the grapes from the air, so therefore their wines change uh, change taste a little bit depending on the year they were bottled. Now speaking about bottling, uh, unfortunately they're not yet bottling on site here just outside of Mitzpe Ramon. Currently the grapes they harvest they're uh, shipping them all up to the north of Israel then doing the bottling there but this wine can be found throughout Israel and uh, this winery, the Nana winery, uh, which is named after the childhood nickname of uh, the uh, pioneer winemaker here is uh, well known. It's rosé is very well known. I'm personally a bit of a uh, rosé fan myself, uh, so it might be a bias, but certainly they make some very good rosé as well as the other uh, the other types of uh, of wine. The water supply here is coming uh, from Mitzpe Ramon, and as I've said, they've been in the winemaking business since 2007, and they're now selling both throughout Israel and uh, directly to consumers also on their website. The cost of the wine tasting, like the wine tasting I did at Catlav a few days ago, is 90 shekels. That approximates to about 20 uh, US dollars at the time I'm recording this video. And that'll get you uh, three types of wine. You can of course try a red wine or a white wine and a rosé, or you can uh, focus on uh, the, the type of wine that you're most into. So you can have three different types of red wine if that suits your fancy more. They do have uh, cheese, uh, plates for sale as any self-respecting uh, wine tasting tour does and uh, if you just located about a uh, 10 minutes drive outside of Mitzpe Ramon so if you are visiting the crater or just visiting Mitzpe Ramon which is definitely worth a visit in its own right definitely worth uh, making the visit out here to check out the winery at Nana. Thanks for watching today's video uh, from the Nana Winery in the south of Israel. If you do want to get more videos from me about interesting sites and places and hopefully forthcoming also people in Jerusalem and in Israel, then do consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Thank you for watching the video.